hello guys today i'm going to be showing you how to connect kubo toolbox data to power bi via api connection i will put the link of this presentation below the youtube video so that you can download it and go through it and understand the the concepts behind these two pieces of software um so let's get started the first thing we need to do is to go to kobotubos.org so on kobotubos.org you can create an account with unlimited you from an integral organization the sashas eight workers and everyone else so what we need from this um kobotubos is to get the kpi also to get the token and to get the form uid so we merge all this together and paste it into the microsoft power bi to connect it to connect the two pieces of software together so if you create an account with unlimited use for mantegan organization this will be your kpi kobo.mantegan.respond.info and if you create an account with unlimited uh, researchers is workers and everyone else this will be your KPI kf.cobotubus.org. So I'll be going with this kf.cobotubus.org for the purpose of this presentation. So what I need to do is to copy this, copy this KPI and paste it into a notepad. So I will create a notepad on my desktop. So I'll paste the URL here. I'll paste it here. After that, the next thing I need to do is to generate the token. So I will get the token by typing https slash slash kf.cobotubos.org slash token. So I will click on it. This is the token in red. So I'll copy the token without the apostrophe. So I'll paste it into the notepad after that i need to get the form uid the form i'm going to use for the purpose of this presentation so i've created the form which is how to connect google to Power super bi so i'll click on it and copy the form uid here is the form uid a z l q we have different type of form uid so i'll copy this my form uid I will paste it here. I will paste it here. So now I need to combine this together the form UID and this hypertext transfer protocol kf.scobotuber.org. So what I need to do is to, to make this in form of this so that i'm going to use it in this uh, in microsoft power bi so i will make it in form of this so what i need to do is to go to my notepad and type kf.scobotuber.org slash assets slash the form uid so i'll copy the form uid copy it here paste slash submissions slash question mark format in json so after that i will open my microsoft power bi desktop So I have this, I'll go to get data web, click on web, click on advance, then paste the generated URL into the URL path, then come to HTTP request header parameters optional, click on the ribbon, select authorization, then type token with capital letter first t on the t then put a space between the token and go to the notepad copy the token 
and paste it then click on ok it will bring out power query editor after that you can rename after remaining renaming click on to table then click on ok leave it the way it is then click on ok then after that you come here and click on this line click on this uncheck use original column as preface and click on ok then you can delete what you don't need you can delete it from here so i'm deleting this i'm deleting this i don't need this can remove the column i don't need this i don't need this remove 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 so so click on close and apply Yeah, I have my column on the field panel so I can display whatever I like here. So I can click on this, then select your UUID. Can come here, count these things so i have 50 so can just uncheck category i have 50 submitted then can plot i can plot the local governments can plot the local governments Can also edit the um, ed facilities. Can edit this also. So I can do whatever I like on it. Can do whatever I like. Edit, delete. Um, can do different kind of things on it. So. Yeah, I have it. So I can also get um, import from marketplace, some other things to use for marketplace.
So I have my data. If I have more than this, you can display it in A2. You can do whatever you like on it. So, um, okay, I'm going to go back to, to the form and preview the form and send some I need to do next is to fill blank form on my mobile device so i'll fill some black form on my mobile device then i'll send it to server so that it will reflect on microsoft power bi so. so what i need to do is just to click on refresh to display new data So thank you for watching.